If you've ever been curious about the effect of hitting a fairy wood off the tee versus off the turf, then this is the video for you. I'm gonna hit shots both ways and we're gonna see what TrackMan tells us. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Maholder, Second Swing Golf. I'm joined today by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing Minnetonka. We are outside today on the driving range. Beautiful spring day here in Minnesota, and we're gonna be hitting, fair, well, I am going to be hitting some fairy woods today, both off the turf and off the tee. I know that's a common question golfers ask, is you know the difference between hitting a club off the turf and off the tee. Um, today we've got three wood. I've got my Ping G425 LST. I'm gonna hit some off the turf. And then off the tee, we're going to see really how much of a difference that is. So, Thomas, um, in your playing experience, um, have you noticed a major difference with fairy woods off the turf versus off the tee? Oh yes, it is so much easier hitting the fairy wood off the tee than off the turf. This one club in my bag that I have issues with is the fairy wood. Mm -hmm. And that's because you've got to have a perfect attack angle coming down to pick that ball cleanly off the turf. Yeah. If you don't pick it clean, you can catch it fat, you can catch it thin. And that spin rate on that ball, or that ball speed you're going to generate, can be very inconsistent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. And I know that's, uh, I think for maybe amateur golfers out there, the three wood off the turf, or fairy wood in general off the turf, is probably the most difficult club to hit cleanly because like you said, there's got to be, there's a perfect kind of attack angle to make sure you hit that ball cleanly and right in the center of the face. And it's uh, kind of rare for golfers that are maybe not as experienced as you are or as skilled as you are to do so, um, which is why off the tee, they're going to see a lot better results usually. And actually you have the Ping G425 LST fairy wood. So Ping have actually come out with the term spin consistency here in 2021. Their goal is when you don't quite catch in the middle, if you catch it just a little bit low on the face, let's face it, if you've got the ball on the ground, if you're going to miss it, you're probably going to catch it a little low on the yeah. face. Spin consistency, the way the club is lofted, is to help generate consistent gapping and not have that ball balloon and spin a lot when you catch a little low on the face too. So we'll kind of test that as well. Yeah, I know. Uh, there's a pretty good chance I catch a few of these shots a little bit low on the face, but um, we're going to see the differences here. Trackman's going to show us the data uh, between me hitting some shots off the turf and then off the tee. Uh, I'm curious to see what this tells us, Thomas. I'm ready to get going. Let's do it. Oh, that's tugged. That sounded good. Yeah, that one was very good. That's that small. Was... There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Drew, so we got five of six shots here to talk about. Yeah. There, were, there was one miss hit in there. Now, hitting <laughs> the club off the ground, it can be challenging. You know, it's had yeah. that little top there. You got your target though. Yeah, I did. <laughs> the bullseye right there, that's what I was looking for, right? <laughs> yeah, but the other five shots you hit really well. There was four shots where the spin rate was basically about 3,200 RPMs okay. every single time. And then there was one you got a little bit low on the face. We talk about, I mean, you don't quite catch it perfect with three yeah. wood. Spin rate jumped to about 45.92. But all the okay. other ones, the spin rate was great and really consistent in that low 3,000 mark. Yeah, yeah, and that's, I mean, those, I can pick out those shots because it was kind of that consistent low flight, the wind out here, it's a little bit going left to right, didn't really affect the ball too much. And then when I did catch that one a little bit low, that spin again up a little bit and you could see the ball kind of take off with the wind a little bit more. So, uh, but again, I mean, that's the thing off the turf, you know, there's a, there's a fine line for hitting that ball solid and keeping that spin consistent. And the reason why you were so successful at hitting the ball off the turf is to do the attack angle. You're still hitting down on the ball, so that way you're gonna not top it when yeah. you, when you well, do top it yeah. that's when you don't hit down the ball quite as quite as much we'll notice your attack angle was actually down about on average 4.8 degrees okay so it was down pretty far now that's the reason why we need to fit you into the lst model as opposed to a very wood model that would spin more because otherwise it would have spun a lot yeah. more too sure but great numbers based on the way that you were delivering the golf club we're talking you know Carry distance 260.8 going 282. We had that one outlier that was 250.6 uh, going 264, but all the okay. others were in the mid 260 carry. You actually got one that you got 290.5. So wow. you did it pretty well. Yeah. All right. Well, off the tee now is the real interesting part here because uh, I know we've we've tested some irons before and seen some differences. I'm curious now with uh, fairy wood how that changes. All right. Let's hit some off the tee. That was good. Yeah. 
Okay, so shots off the tee versus off the turf. Could you notice any difference? Yeah, yeah, I definitely could. It felt like it was, again, it's just a little cleaner. Uh, I was more confident too with the ball teed up. Um, it seemed like uh, the ball was maybe a little bit more left tendency too off the tee. I mean, that might not be right, but I felt like it was just, the ball was flying a little bit more to the left off the tee. Well, they both were just a little bit left of center. Okay. Uh, the dispersion pattern with the tee was definitely much tighter. Okay. So I'm looking at the carry distance here um, with the red circle, definitely much smaller than the blue circle. Okay. So that's kind of interesting there to pay attention to. Now there was a couple you didn't catch quite perfect. You had that one 46.88, that last kind of shot there where the spin rate did kind of jump up a little bit on you there. Um, but otherwise, pretty good numbers. Um, it's kind of interesting, your club speed, you're within, within a mile an hour, ball speed, within half a mile an hour of each other. So your efficiency, really? 149, 149. So both pretty good. Uh, off the tee, you did carry the ball six yards further. Okay. Um, and the ball did go three yards further overall. Okay. So it did actually just spin, we're talking 20, 30 RPMs more. So it wasn't too much. And that's because it had that one that's kind of that little outlier yeah. off the tee with the 4688. And then you had the 4592 with off the turf. Okay. As well. So really we had both that were kind of outliers. There's one outlier really with each, right? Yeah. Whereas the, they each, there was each kind of one that went out to the right, spun a little bit more. But um, interesting that it doesn't seem like there's that big of a difference between the the two um which is honestly to me I, I felt like i hit the ones off the tee way better but interesting that the numbers don't seem to suggest there's a huge difference well you definitely deliver the golf club differently so talking about dynamic uh okay. loft we'll notice dynamic loft off the tee we're talking about two degrees higher and your attack angle was two degrees lower off the tee than off the turf so two negative 2.7 versus negative 4.8 so okay. you didn't have to feel like you had to maybe hit down on it quite as much to get that thing off mm. the ground. Okay, so I was kind of sweeping it a little bit more off the tee. Correct. Saying. Yeah, you're sweeping a little bit more by about two degrees. Okay. So that's, you know, that was, it was pretty impressive. I mean, I'm not going to lie, when you hit those first few off the ground, I'm like, this is going to be an interesting <laughs> test because you really did hit it well off the ground today. Yeah. Yeah, well, except for the, the one I topped, but we'll, we'll talk about that one, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, you know, the nice thing is we can, we can delete out a couple of bad <laughs> shots, and, uh, you know, that one was, was interesting. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, we're only human. We're not going to hit yeah. the ball perfect every single time. That's why playing club that's forgiving mm -hmm. is kind of important. Um, top to top, I mean. Yeah, yeah. The, well, I think, yeah. I mean, so the takeaway here to me is that, I mean, so I've kind of been... I've always thought that you know you hit a threw it off the tee versus threw it off the turf, you're gonna get more height, and you know it's gonna go much further. But uh, I mean, really, there's not much of a difference, at least for me. Now it could yep. be different for someone else a little bit, but um, interesting that it, I guess it all does really depend with uh, the three wood, both off the tee and off the turf, really how you deliver the club. Because really, the big difference for me seemed to just be the way I was swinging and my attack angle on the, at the ball. Yeah, and because your attack angle was a little cleaner and your dynamic loft was a little higher with off the tee. You did fly, it did fly a little higher. Mm -hmm. So it was 99 feet in the air versus 81 feet in the air okay. off the ground. So definitely a little difference there. Speaking of landing angle, your landing angle with the three wood off the tee was 40 degrees. Off the ground, it was 35.8. Okay. So there's, there's definitely differences because the way you were delivering the golf club. Fairy wood is hard. It's definitely a yeah. hard club to hit. As I said, it's not my favorite club in, in the bag to yeah. hit. I don't hit it very often. Um, I just sometimes feel like yeah. I close my eyes and hope for the best of times sometimes with the fairy wood. Um, it's just, I just was, for me it's attack angle because my attack yeah. angle with my driver is so far up. I actually hit up on the ball with the, with the three wood and catch it too low in the face. Sure, yeah. sure. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's interesting that, I don't know, I'm just surprised that the little difference is really between the actual the contact made, right, turf and tee that with three wood, whereas with iron we did see in our testing some differences, but with three wood, not a ton was really different there. Maybe a little bit of height difference, but again, that's what was related to the way I was swinging. Yeah, because the ball was going further, the separation wasn't as far apart mm -hmm. when we were maybe testing the irons off the tee as well. Yeah, for sure. Well, well, thanks, Thomas, for joining me today. This was some really good information. I think golfers will really like this one. Um, I, again, I'm kind of surprised by the results. Yeah, this is really interesting data. It really shows the importance of delivering the club correctly with three wood, especially when it's on the ground.